welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today is a video that I've been thinking about making for quite a while. I just wanted to make sure that I was making the absolute best decision for me and that was really taking a good hard look at myself and where I am on my Weight Watchers journey and if this is where I want to be or what I want to do moving forward as far as weight loss goes. So I've been thinking about this for a while, doing a little bit of research and just trying to make the best decision for what's best for me moving forward. Forward. So I finally have made some decisions. So I'm here today to share with you a little bit about what you're going to see as far as my weight loss journey moving forward. So let's jump right in to some of these changes that I'm going to be making when it comes to weight loss. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. So as you know, I love WW. I want to say right off the bat that I am not quitting WW. That is never going to happen. This is not a diet for me. This is a lifestyle. So I plan on doing WW literally until the day that I die throughout my weight loss and throughout maintenance and so on and so forth. So I am not quitting WW. I know that there have been some YouTubers that have made the switch, whether it be to keto or over to Whole Foods, and that's fabulous if that's what works for them. I'm so happy for them. I support them. I encourage them and you to pick what works best for you, whether it's Weight Watchers or not. Pick the diet plan or weight loss plan that you can stick with while you lose weight and also while you are in maintenance. So for me, that is WW. Now, there are some things regarding WW that I am going to be changing and that I'm changing immediately. So as of this video, these changes are going to be in effect. So those are the things that I wanted to share with you. So number one is I'm going to be switching over to a little bit more whole foods. So am I eliminating processed foods altogether? Absolutely not. I love my Bilt Bars. I will continue to have a Bilt Bar every day as my morning snack. I love Bilt Bars. I love having the occasional bag of low point chips or an occasional sweet treat like my Choco Ripe peanut butter cups or a scoop of protein powder in my smoothie. So I am not taking the plunge to an all whole food non-processed diet, but I am going to be focusing more on whole foods. So in my what I eat in a day videos, in my recipe videos, you're going to be seeing a lot more whole food. So for example, as far as snacks go throughout my day, I will most likely always have my Bilt Bar as my morning snack, but my other snack during the day is going to be things such as cottage cheese with maybe some fruit on it. I may choose to have some sort of a yogurt, like a Siggy's, and maybe top that with a little bit of granola. Or I may choose a cheese stick and an apple. You're just going to be seeing a lot less processed snacks. So that's where I'm really going to focus my attention first is the snacks that I'm consuming each day. I'm going to make an effort to have those be a little less or a lot less process. I'm also going to be making some changes in my recipes as far as breakfast, lunch, and dinner go. I'm going to try to incorporate a lot more vegetables because I find myself eating vegetables really good for dinner, but when it comes to breakfast or lunch, I'm just not eating vegetables. And I need to make sure that I am incorporating those a little bit more in breakfast and lunch and continuing to have vegetables regularly with my dinner. I also am going to start incorporating kale or spinach into my smoothie or my protein shake. I've been having that a lot as an afternoon snack where I'm mixing some frozen fruit, some almond milk or some sort of low fat milk or juice, along with a scoop of protein powder, and then I'm just tossing in a handful of greens. I can't taste it, and it's giving me that extra dose of vegetables that I need. So I am going to be definitely incorporating more vegetables into all of my meals and my snacks throughout the day. I'm also going to be making a shift from a lot of fat 
free food to whole food or even light food. So for example, I'm not going to be incorporating fat-free cheese very much in my diet. I'm going to opt to take the points hit on a light cheese or even a full fat cheese. I don't love fat-free cheese as it is, and the only fat-free cheese that I really like is Kraft, and it's super expensive. And honestly, I'd rather eat an extra point or two worth of cheese and have a really good, delicious, creamy, melty cheese, like a light shredded or a light cheese slice or even a full fat cheese slice or scoop of shredded cheese. So I am going to be eliminating fat-free cheese altogether from what I'm eating. I'm also going to be eliminating a lot of other fat-free things. I will no longer be using fat-free cream cheese. I'm going to go for a third less fat or a full fat cream cheese and again, take the hit on smart points. I will be continuing to eat light mayo. I don't eat fat-free mayonnaise as it is, but I will be eating a lot of light things such as the light mayo or a light other food item. I'm just going to be taking out fat-free. It doesn't satisfy me. It doesn't keep me full. And again, for me, I'd rather take the points hit and have a whole food or a lighter version of my favorite food rather than opting for fat-free. Now, a fat-free item that I will continue to be having is fat-free Ready Whip. Although it is processed, I just will not be having it as much as I used to have it. I do love fat-free Ready Whip, so I will be incorporating it in my desserts here and there, but it's not going to be an everyday thing or a twice a day thing like it has been in the past. Another thing that I'm going to be really cutting back on or scaling back on is going to be sugar-free things. Things that are using sugar alcohols or things that are using a lot of chemicals to make them sugar-free. So I will no longer be having sugar-free coffee creamer. I know. It's a sad day. I love my sugar-free peppermint mocha coffee creamer, but I have to get that out of my diet. It is full of chemicals. It's not good for me. And again, I'll take the points hit for a full fat creamer. I've been really enjoying nut pods, so I'm going to be incorporating that a lot more. And even just plain old half and half into my coffee with maybe some skinny syrup. That's where I'm going to pull in a little of the sugar-free, but I'm going to really make that a rare occasion where I'm having sugar-free anything in my daily cup of coffee. I'm going to stick with nut pods, half and half, or even just a teaspoon of sugar for one smart point. So I find that I'm eating a lot of sugar-free food. I'm eating a lot of sugar-free alcohols, especially in things like bars. So the only bar or sugar-free alcohol that I'll be eating now is going to be in my Built Bar. And I am limiting myself to one food item a day that has sugar alcohols. So if I have a Built Bar, that is my one food item that has sugar alcohols that I'm allowed or allowing myself to eat each day. Now, will I be perfect on this? Probably not. There may be days that I may have one or two things with sugar alcohols, but I'm really trying to steer clear of those. I'm trying to focus on more whole food, which means more whole food sweetener alternatives. As you know, monk fruit is an excellent choice for a sweetener alternative. So I'm going to be incorporating that a lot more in my cooking and my baking and even in my coffee. You can even put a little bit of monk fruit sweetener in your coffee and still get that feeling of sugar, but it's a good choice for a sugar alternative. If I'm wanting something that is sweet, I'm going to be leaning a lot more on smart sweets. Smart sweets are now made with allulose, which is a nature, natural occurring sugar. It is found in figs and raisins. So it's not a sugar alcohol. And actually smart sweets, you guys are free of sugar alcohols. So that's a great choice for a sweet snack. It's three points. Now, will I be having that every single day? No. I absolutely will not, but I will be using that as a sweet treat if I feel like I need one on a given day. I'm also going to be eating a lot more chicken, ground beef, steak, fish, really trying to up my protein game and my veggie game. Those are the two things that I'm really going to work on in addition to cutting out all sugar alcohols or the majority of sugar alcohols, sugar-free and fat free things. I'm really going to gear towards more whole foods. Now you guys know that my favorite bread in the world is the Trader Joe's sprouted sourdough. 
great choice for bread. It is a sprouted bread, which is the best choice that you can make when it comes to bread. And it's only two smart points per slice. And again, versus the Sara Lee for one point, I will any day of the week take the point hit and have a good for you quality bread. I also love Ezekiel bread. They even make tortillas. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of those things incorporated into my diet. I do really like the Olay wraps and they're not terrible as far as what is in them. So I am going to still be having those and I want to say again that I'm not cutting out all of the processed food I'm just going to be focusing more on whole food good sources of protein good sources of vegetables and just cutting back but not eliminating the things that maybe aren't so good for me the fat free the sugar free so I also feel that you never want to, to completely eliminate anything out of your diet it's really hard to stick with it's not sustainable because there are going to be times that you're going to want something with sugar alcohol. Maybe you're out on the road and you have to stop at your local gas station and grab a protein bar and it's made with erythritol. So be it. That's okay. I'm just saying that I'm not eliminating these things altogether. I'm cutting back on these things and really focusing more on whole real food. And lastly, I'm going to be upping my veggie and my fruit game. I mentioned that I'm going to be trying to incorporate more vegetables, but I am going to now allow myself three pieces of fruit per day versus the two pieces of fruit that I did allow myself in the past. That way it's a real food and it gives me that sweetness that I can get from a naturally occurring sugar and fruit versus a sugar alcohol or a sugar substitute. So I will be upping my fruit to three pieces per day and continuing to add additional vegetables into my, my food each day. And I'm talking more non-starchy vegetables, the broccolis, the zucchinis, that type of thing. I will have the occasional corn and peas because I love them, but I am also going to try to incorporate more of the non-starchy vegetables. And the last thing that you're going to see me incorporate a lot more into my diet is going to be healthy fats. If you've been watching my What I Eat In A Day videos, you're seeing I'm using a lot of avocado. I'm now cooking with avocado or olive oil instead of nonstick cooking spray. So I'm going to be taking several points each day for healthy fats, such as avocados, olive oil, avocado oil, almond butter, nuts. I'm going to take the points for those every day and that is going to now be a basis of a lot of my meals versus subbing that with a nonstick cooking spray or maybe PB2. I'm going to be actually choosing the nuts, the almond butter, the oils, and the avocados. So I will be incorporating a lot more healthy fats. And again, I'm okay taking the points hit for that because I know it's good for my body, it's good for my brain, it's good for my body overall, especially with all of the exercise that I do. I feel like I have a lot more energy at Jazzercise when I'm fueling my body with good quality food. So those are the dietary changes that I'm going to be making moving forward. I'm going to slowly start incorporating these things into my eating and my recipes. So you will be seeing these things in future videos and recipes as we move into the new months and the rest of 2020. Now again, you can make any substitution that you need to make that fits into your eating plan and your dietary choices. So if I'm using a full fat cheese or a light cheese and you're okay using a fat-free cheese in your food instead of the lighter full fat, Feel free to make any substitutions that you need to make to work in your plan. You'll just have to do a little bit of work of plugging that into the recipe builder, maybe recalculating the points a little bit, but you can make any substitutions to any recipe that I share or anyone else shares or a recipe that you find on the internet as well. Substitutions are great and you can eat the foods that work best into your smart points budget, but also that work best into kind of the foods that you're trying to eat on your weight loss plan. So with these dietary changes and leaning more towards real whole food and healthy fats, I'm finding myself, like I said, leaning more towards these processed fat-free foods since I made the switch over to the green plan from what used to be freestyle. And I've thought long and hard about this and I've figured out that the reason that I'm doing this and I'm eating more snacky things is because I have more points in a day and I have less zero point foods. So in my mind, if I have to take points for something, am I going to take the points for a hard boiled egg for two points is a snack or am I going to grab a two point bag of pretzels? Well, I'd rather have the pretzels. So I'm finding myself gravitating towards those processed or deemed unhealthy snacks full of preservatives, Franken foods, 
non-real ingredients, sugar alcohols, all the things. I'm finding myself opting to use my smart points for those versus using my smart points for whole foods. Because you know what? If I have to take the points hit for it, I'm gonna have what I want. Is that the best mentality to have? Of course it's not, but that is human nature and that is what I've been doing on the green plan. I'm definitely eating a lot less eggs since I have to count them as two smart points a piece. I'm definitely eating a lot less chicken. I'm picking steak and pork because chicken cost me points and steak and pork cost me points. So I'm gonna eat steak and pork instead of chicken. So I'm finding myself, and this is a habit that I've formed. This is consistent throughout the last few months since we've switched into the three plan options that I'm not picking the best food choices. One, because I have to take the points hit for them. And two, because I have so many points during the day, I have enough points to have all these processed, snacky, sweet foods. And after going through January and losing a little over three pounds for the month of January, which I'm so thrilled and grateful for, I think, and I really, in my heart of hearts believe this and you may not agree with me and that's okay that's your opinion this is my opinion and again this is my journey so i'm going to do what's best for me is i think that me eating as many processed foods that i'm eating as many sugar-free fat-free foods as i'm eating and not choosing the lean proteins and those eggs is stunting my weight loss I really believe that it is because I can stay on plan the entire week. I can bust my behind at Jazzercise and not lose anything or point this, point that, which again, I'm grateful for the point this is and that's because they add up to pounds, but I should be losing more by staying on track and getting in so much exercise. I am in such a calorie deficit and I'm not seeing that show up on the scale. And the only thing that I can contribute that to you guys is the food that I'm eating. And I don't want to do that. I, I want to see success on the scale. I want to eat foods that are better for me. I want to be in the mindset where I'm choosing those foods, not feeling like I'm going to choose this unhealthy food because the points are the same as this healthy food. And you may not have this issue, but this is a huge, huge issue with me since I moved over to the green plan. It's a huge issue. So not only do I need to do something different as far as the foods that I'm eating, I need to do something different as far as WW is concerned. So I've made the decision that I am going to switch back to the blue plan, the old freestyle plan. And my reasons for that, there are many, many reasons, but my number one reason for that, actually my two top reasons for that is number one is the zero point foods. I am going to go back to choosing hard boiled eggs and chicken breast over processed snacks steak and pork because it's zero smart points. It's a leaner option, it's better for me, it's a whole food. I'm definitely going to lean more towards those food items if they are zero smart points. In addition to that, the second reason that I'm choosing to go back over to the blue plan is because I get less daily smart points, which allows me less points for food I shouldn't be eating. And I'm consciously going to choose my zero point foods and I'm consciously going to choose to spend the daily smart points that I get on whole real food, avocado, almond butter, full or light cheese, full fat or light cream cheese, no more sugar-free creamer, but putting half and half and taking the point for that in my coffee. So by going back over to the blue plan, it's going to allow me less bad choices. Yes, I could still spend all of my points for the day on the blue plan on junk food, but I am making the effort to switch over from the junk food over to the whole unprocessed, not sugar-free, fat-free food. And by being back on the blue plan, I have a lot more lean zero point protein options and I have a lot less daily smart points to spend on junk, which is going to make me naturally choose better things with my points because I have less of them to spare. So my big announcement is, is that I'm moving more towards whole foods and I'm switching back over to the blue plan. Now, with that being said, those of you that are on the green or purple plan, do not freak out my friends. 
Please do not freak out. I include the points for all three plans on all of my recipes and on my grocery hauls. Anything food related that I share with you on my channel, I include the points for all three plans. So it doesn't matter what plan you're following, whether it's the same as me or different than me, you're gonna have the points for the plan that you are following for all of my recipes. That is something that takes me a lot of time to do, but I want to do it for you guys. I want you to be successful on your journey. I want you to be able to eat my delicious recipes that I'm making. So for me to take the time to figure out the points for those recipes or the foods I share in my grocery haul is well worth it because it helps you. And again, you guys know I have this channel for you. It's for me for accountability and to help on my weight loss journey and to share my experiences good and bad with you guys. But it's also for you so that I can share some of my favorite things and recipes with you guys. So no fear, whatever plan you're on, I'm still going to be sharing the points for all of them here on my channel. And the last thing that I want to share when it comes to making these changes in my weight loss plan is that you should never choose a plan or make changes because that's what someone else is doing. You should choose your plan and make changes based on what works best for you. So just because I'm switching to the blue plan or Susie Smith is on the purple plan or your best friend or boyfriend or husband or wife are on the green plan doesn't mean that you should be on that same plan. You should really choose the one that works best for you. And for me, the green plan isn't what works best for me. I've been on that plan since they switched in November. So it's been months and I'm just now over the last month or so realizing what changes I need to make to make me more successful on my weight loss journey. And I am on this journey for me to lose this weight, to be a healthier, happier, better version of myself. And by switching over to the blue plan, I really believe that that is the best decision for me. Now, now, will I try the purple plan? Possibly, I may decide to just try that for a few weeks down the road. Or will I switch back to the green plan? Maybe, not likely, because I've been on the green plan and it's not ideal for me, but you never know. I never wanna say never, because I don't know what the future holds for me. But as of right now and moving forward, I'm going to be on the blue plan. But again, all points for all plans will be shared on everything that I share here on my channel. So I am incredibly excited about the changes that I'm making. Again, you're gonna be seeing a lot more whole foods, less fat-free, less sugar-free. And again, I want to make it clear that I am not eliminating sugar-free, fat-free, processed foods out of my diet because I'm not. I'm still going to have those on occasion. I'm just going to be choosing 80 to 90% of the time the whole food, the non-fat free, the non-sugar free. So I am still going to be having a little bit of everything. I think that balance is super important in life and in a weight loss journey. So I never want to eliminate something completely. I'm just going to be shifting the majority of what I'm eating over to the whole unprocessed, non-fat free, sugar free foods. And again, I'm switching to the blue plan immediately. So I will be on the blue plan moving forward. But again, all points will be shared on everything that I share here on my channel. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts and I want to hear your positive thoughts. I don't want to hear you guys tell me I shouldn't be on the blue plan or I should take away sugar free or fat free because again, that's what works for you. That's not what I want to do on my journey. I'm going to do what I know is sustainable and works for me. But I do want to hear your feedback on processed, fat-free, sugar-free, whole foods, and what you guys think about maybe trying out some of the other plans to see if they work a little bit better and help you reach your goals a little bit faster. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. I've been a little bit nervous to share this with you guys, these changes that I'm going to be making, but this is what's best for me in my journey. So I'm putting it out there. I am always honest and upfront and transparent with you guys. And so that is why I'm sharing all of this with you today. So again, if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you've chosen a great plan for you. And if not, feel free to evaluate. You can switch plans at any time on WW. You can eat whatever you want on WW. So make sure that you remember that when selecting your plans and your foods, nothing is off limits. And if you are new, I'd love it if you would join me here on my YouTube channel, 
see my journey, see the success that I have through 2020 by hitting that subscribe button and that little bell so you're just notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Thumbs up this video if you're excited for these changes. And again, leave those comments down below. I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on my changes and if it's something that maybe you'd like to incorporate into your Weight Watchers plan as well. Thank you guys again for all of your love and support over the last year and a half of my channel. You guys are my biggest blessing. I'm so grateful for you. I I love doing YouTube. I love WW. None of that is ever going to change. I'm just going to tweak things a little bit to work best for my journey. Thank you guys again for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video.